Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gamer to the Comp video. We're going to be tackling a video that I just didn't manage to get around to yesterday. AMD have finally confirmed the specifications of the RX 470, the RX 460, and also have given us an updated roadmap regarding Vega. So we're going to tackle with 470 first, which is the slightly lesser brother than the 480. Now for folks wondering what the performance of this card is going to be, you're going to be looking at 2040H stream processors. We know this because it has 32 compute units, 32 times 64, and there you, there's your answer. And this is going to be with 4 gigabytes of GDDR5. We don't know the memory bandwidth unfortunately, but we do know it's on a full 256-bit interface, and that's with a 1 six pin power connector and of course does support all of the normal things such as free sync and the latest display ports and all of that stuff which is kind of cool we're not quite sure regarding the um release date yet but it's looking like it's going to be end of this month slash beginning of next month depending on retail availability which is about what you'd expect so you can probably start expecting reviews popping up by let's say 1st of August-ish. Now what about the RX 460? Well of course this is the lower end part. This is for small form factor PCs and AMD themselves say it's esports related which is basically saying that hey if you're gonna play League of Legends or what have you you can just take this small PC with you so you've got all of your configuration and you're used to the environment and all of that stuff. Features 14 compute units which means once again times 64 you've got 896 stream processors. It's a very referency design and to be honest it looks an awful awful lot like the nanos which isn't a bad thing i i don't have anything against the nano design two gigabytes of memory which should be fine to power the resolutions that this card's going to be capable of and 128 bit memory interface which is once again should be sufficient now this is also notable because it does not have a power connector which once again obviously means that it's going to be falling underneath the 75 watt draw that the PCIe slot on your motherboard can provide which is pretty cool it should mean that it's absolutely perfect for folks who need a small low power card I also imagine it will have certain usages because of the high level of display port functionality compared to let's say the current um, cards in the 300 lineup it should be great for folks who want to do streaming to let's say from say Steam or what have you and overall should be a nice card for just media center usage as well as well as some light gaming. Now there is a question brought forth by the ever so slightly updated roadmap. I say ever so slightly because we're still seeing Vega penciled in for 2017 which means bang goes the rumors that it was actually going to be released earlier. Now what's really interesting is AMD are putting a little note there. A high-end architecture for high-end gamers. That's the only change from this iteration of the roadmap other than a slightly changed background compared to the uh, older ones. Now the reason I find this really interesting is because there are still a fuck ton of rumours concerning the release of the 490s coming up soon which begs a very simple question. What the balls is the 490 going to be? And I'm trying to find out but honestly no one's talking um, and it's really down to speculations at this point. I have a few ideas. One is basically that it's a dual card. So, for example, it could literally be two 480 um, chips on the same board. Bob's your uncle. Which would give crossfire performance. Another possibility is they could be going a multi chip module route. So, essentially, it's two cards, but there's a hardware controller on there which basically does most of the work for it so to the game it's like it's two rather than one uh, that would obviously be using most likely GDDR5X memory but I'm basing all of this on assumptions I mean honestly it's a lot of speculation there are threads all over the internet regarding what this could possibly be and unfortunately while there are certainly a lot of possibilities from a technical standpoint how much AMD want to put into that and of course essentially the 490 is not confirmed yet as well so we know it's probably coming because there have been leaks, for example, we've seen um, various vendors, for example, Sapphire, who have accidentally listed it under their support section of the website, um, where you can have problems with, for example, your 490 card. It's popped up on the AMD for You website, where, of course, you can redeem codes. 
but those are only listings. We've seen not hide nor hair of it, and we haven't seen specifications. So it could be that there's been a lot of typos. It could be it's a PR marketing stunt, but that would be an awful lot of coordination, and I don't think that would be the case. Or it could just be that we're going to have to wait and see, which is probably the one it's going to be. Um, but either way, it's kind of cool. Now, the one I'm really interested in isn't actually necessarily Vega, although I am interested in Vega. Um, it's probably going to be a 64 compute unit solution. Bugger knows what the level of clocks are going to be. Probably at least 1500 megahertz. I'm assuming for a decent solution. But Navi is the one that's really confusing me. The reason I say it's confusing me is there are two notes. And I've tried to ask even Robert Halleck over at AMD when we had that interview recently. And I asked him what the hell does A scalability and B next generation memory mean? And he said, basically, you're just going to have to wait and find out. And that's not going to pop onto the horizon until 2018. Now, one can imagine Vega and Navi could be related. It could be an improved iteration of it, so GCM 5.0, if you will. Or it could be an entirely new structure, an entirely new architecture. So bye-bye GCN, and instead we have something else, which would explain the scalability note. Hmm. Anyone want to have hazard a guess on that one, folks? Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.